Yo, 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 it's your boy Blaze McCoy. We are back for some mass hysteria. Prepare yourself for some wit, word, flam, wise cracks. Idioms, idiots, and innuendo. Out of sight of sarcasm. It's your boy Blaze McCoy. I'm the Blaze, and I'm the radio. Radio Rex Rapalski. <laughs> oh, geez. Stay tuned. Here's. The theme song for tonight, Mass Hysteria. We got Burn It Down in a House, Wildcat and J Dog, Leo, Zerk, Monstar. Here we go. This is Mass Hysteria. It's my boy Soma, Penatella on the mic. Check out the flow. We'll be live shortly. It's mass hysteria, folks, and tonight, Morgan Nightwalker wanted to come out of retirement and fight me. Haha, <laughs> Blaze, I'll take care of the booth, don't worry. Oh, boy. Knox Boogie taking on his partner, Killer Neptune. Bayou versus Hobo. Razor versus Bone Dog. Caliber on Caliber. Code versus Young, LA versus Judgment. Shamrock versus Machete, Bastage Gordson, and Shadow Press. Crazy Eight match. Wally's in the building. Brian, Brian Hernsberger's in the house. Cowboy John's in the building. Drum monkey, Kel, Zerk, Miles Stanley Ward. Hit that thumbs up, everybody. Good to see you. right very rarely do i step into the ring recently it's been a few times <coughs> i don't say that i'm still kind of sick but he wants a fight nightwalker versus me coming up i guess well rex i'm not gonna take my uh <coughs> headset in there i'm gonna go fight i'm gonna try to win this so you're on your own oh yay okay everybody he's letting me me do the job here Hope I don't screw it up. <laughs> Here we go. Coming out of the ring first from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The lunatic egg from the sticks, the Steel City Superman. Six foot five, 269. It's Blaze McCoy. Hi, Mrs. You Taker. Hi, Cowboy John. I'm going to try to do commentary. Blaze is trusting me on this one. 
Oh boy, I'm in trouble. He even left me the button. Robert Matchett's in the building. You gotta fight Shamrock later. He's watching. No go, Blaze. Boo, Blaze, Wally. We don't want Blaze to win. I won't mess up. But I'll probably end up breaking the coffee table. Why are you guys laughing at me? Well, Mordred Nightwalker wanted one last match, and Blaze was granting wishes, so he said, All right, old man, let's have two old man fight. <laughs> they should have had, like, walkers and fought each other with walkers. He's watching. I knew it. All them Nightwalkers are watching. AD Beast is in the house. Hi, Beast. It's me, Rex. And here he comes. I'm sure he's really happy. I get to introduce him his final match here in LTD. <laughs> From Norfolk, Virginia, 6'6", 242 pounds. He's a three-time tag team champion, former G6 champion, a three-time world champion, a member of Boots and Blood, a member of Eternity. It's the East Coast bastard, Mordred Nightwalker. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the Nightwalkers approve of my uh, uh, announcing. But here we go. Blaze versus Mordred, one on one. Final match for Nightwalker here in LTD. I'm not gonna miss him. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want him to hear that. Uh, can you guys erase that part from the from the record? No. Oh boy. That's not what I meant. He's got a baseball bat too. Hi, Wally. Thank you. Morgan doesn't look happy. I hope he keeps his sunglasses on when he fights him. He might. He is. He's gonna fight him in sunglasses. Screw it, here we go. Bow ties the referee. Johnny Cash dressed in black apparently. Morgan doesn't doesn't want to take his sunglasses off. He wants to fight Blaze right here, right now. Bulldog by Nightwalker. I think Blaze is in trouble. He's not ready for a fight. He might be, he might look like he's dressed more like a wrestler for this fight because Mordren's been a, a manager. But Blaze is not ready for this fight. It, 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 it's no disqualification. It's no, hi Demon Joker, it's me, Radio Rex. Obviously because uh, the other guys out there fighting. <laughs> hi Mad Mike, oh can you send me a drink Mad Mike while he's not here? Hi Blue Flacco, I'm Radio Rex, this is all sim fed wrestling. My boss is fighting and he looks like a bumblebee. Hadouking! Is that what you're saying, Hadouking? Now he's trying to beat him up on the outside, Nightwalker fighting back. Combination. Oh, Mordren's not happy. The fans are cheering for Mordren? Well, they did that for a little while here. That was weird, too. It's weird now. It's always weird. Uh-oh. Mordren's trying to take his head off. Well, I gotta watch Mordren's kids and his grandkids, and his grandkids' grandkids are all over the place here. They're like flies, man. He's going away, but there's more night walkers around here than ever! Oh boy. They're still fighting on the outside. Uh, 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 hi, sorry if I missed anyone. Uh, I'm not used to doing this. Uh, I'm normally the guy who makes fun of Blaze, and he rags on me, and everyone hates me. Yeah, everybody hates me. He's throwing him back in the ring. Oh, thank you. A bottle for me. Ooh, a whole bottle. Thank you, Mike. It's going to be a party after all, folks. I, I, I get better at this when I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. I swear. I do. Blaze, he's not like a fine wine. They're, neither of these guys are getting better with age. Hadouki! I uh, dookied on him. He did a dookie on him with his fist. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is a burner. Ah, Burner, he's down and out. Mordred's in trouble. Blaze is sending him out of LTD with a big L. For LTD, I guess. Cover! Oh, there he goes. 
The fans are going crazy. I don't even know where we're at. We're in Columbus, Ohio. That's where I, well, I don't know where we're at because it, Columbus is nowhere. Yeah, I don't know why Blaze booked uh, a bunch of shows in Ohio this week. Oh, boy. I can't stand this place. Oh, no, Nightwalk. Now he took him on a night walk. That's why he has his sunglasses on. It's over. Tip oh, kick out by Blaze. This is ridiculous. LTD chance by Wally. That's kind of cool. How about a Rex chant? No? Maybe? Oh, come on. Give me a Rex chant. He's going to put him to sleep. Oh, who's going to call the rest of the show? Wait, this is a bad move, Mordrin. I can't do a whole show. Botox? Oh, I'm good to get out. Woo! I need a drink. Thank you for the drink, whoever sent me a drink. Oh, no, he's getting ready for it. Oh no, another burner. Cowboy John knows what they feel like. Oh, that's a different slam. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this tastes like monkey piss. Don't ask me how I know what monkey piss tastes like. It was a it was a weird summer that year. Paragon is in the building. Hi, POG. Your buddies are fighting against each other tonight. Blaze is trying to make you mad. It's over. Oh. Darn it. Yeah, he's making you fight Uncle Frank tomorrow night, too. You see how he is? I would never do that to you guys. Civil War. Ah, horse hockey. Uh-oh. Mordrin. He's fired up. Now the fun begins. Kicked him in the dick. Oh, another night walk. Uh-oh, Blaze is gonna be pissed. Oh, he got back up. Ten buckle. I can't say it like Blaze. That's ridiculous anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Big footy st stinker. Stinker! Ah, oh, he beat him with the stinker. Hook, liney stinker. Slimy stinkers. Um, poop slimy stinkers. <laughs> I mean hook, line, and sinker. Whatever he calls it. Maybe Morgan was the one that wasn't ready for a fight. Well, anyhow, they fought, I guess. Well, I liked it better when Blaze was losing matches. Bah humbug. Is it still Christmas time? Can I still say bah humbug? say it. I do? Oh, come on, guys. Do I really have to say it? Oh, all right. The winner of the match, Blaze McCoy. I hope I did good enough to keep my job. That wouldn't be cool if I, I, I didn't keep my job. Well, that's it. I, I had fun, Mordred. I enjoyed your time here, as long as I never had to fight you. <laughs> I wish you the best on your future and 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 whatever they say or their future or derbs. I, I I wish you the best. Oh look, he's shaking hands with Mordrin. What are they gonna hold hands on the way up the ramp? Oh, he's raising his hand too. Oh great, a salute to Mordrin. Steel City salute for both of them. Okay. I guess Mordrin and Blaze are friends now. Oh boy, that's coming up cute. Well, he's going to be back soon. I should probably hide, run, or... Oops! Uh-oh! What do you mean he's not going to be back yet? 
I can't do any more of these announcements. What, he's taking pictures with Nightwalker or something now? What, he's gonna join the family? Jeez. Speaking of families, Opaque Brotherhood's gonna fight each other. Boogeyman and Fishman, here we go. Oh, here comes Blaze. Bye, everybody! Oh, Rex, I see Rex got away just in time, huh? Just in time. Good job, Rex. Well, here we go. Well, I got a weird feeling that's an... Even though that's your last match, Mordren, and my hat's off to you, my brother. Still got this weird, eerie feeling that you're going to be looking over my shoulder, that you're still going to be around. I know your boys and your boys' boys and probably your boys' boys' boys will be wrestling here, but... Stay well, brother. Good match. I'm going to be sore for a week, you punk. You still got it. Speaking of still got it, here comes two competitors that have had a great year here in 2019. Oh, it's 2020 now, I guess. Had a good year in 2019. Still hold the G6 Gladiator Six-Man Tag Team Champs from Detroit, Michigan, 6'2", 235. A member of the OPEG Brotherhood, the messenger of morality, Knox Boogie. Of course, the OPEG Brotherhood two-time stable war champs, Knox himself, a two-time world champion, two-time tag team champion with Paragon, and current G6 Gladiator tag team champ. News on that Gladiator tag team championship. It will be the Forge fighting who I like to call the <laughs> the antagonist. The antagonist of Vastage, Gordson and Shadow Press, who will fight each other tonight, will team up to fight the Forge as the top contender for the G6 title here in the coming shows, right here on the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. BC's in a building. Otaku's in a house. Good to see y'all. Thank you. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. Turn it blue for me. I appreciate it. His opponent, hailing from the city of Atlantis, standing at 6'1", 227 pounds. Another member of the Opaque Brotherhood, the Demon of the Deep, Killer Neptune! Along with the stable war and a G6 belt, Killa also claimed the Blitzkrieg title before, and that title is back. Hobo Ezekiel is our Blitzkrieg champion. Mr. Demented is our Crazy 8 champion. Brandon Ace in the building. What's happening? B is in the house. This is Mass Hysteria. We're in Columbus, Ohio. As much as uh, I know Rex hates Ohio, I don't like it that much myself. But we're stacked for some shows here in Ohio. We're in Columbus tonight, Dayton tomorrow night, Cincinnati and Cleveland next week. Here we go, one on one. Knox Boogie and Killing Neptune. Here we go. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to take him uh, with you, Gordon. Fresh off that mat. Okay, now, I'm done. I'm not accepting any more challenges, no more fights. I'm done with the ring here in LTD. 2020, no. Don't laugh at that. Come on, people. I'm here to commentate. Killing Neptune knocks Boogie face-to-face -face here, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, they have fought one-on-one -on -one before here a long time ago. But tonight, the Civil War, putting friends against each other, putting tag team partners against each other, putting the world tag team champs against each other tonight. Wow, Matt Outlaw's in the building. What's up, Matt? 
We're in Columbus, Ohio. And they're slugging it out in the ring here, folks. Ooh, and, and they don't hold back. That's what I like about these guys. They're on the same squad. They're on the same team. But when they fight each other, they bring their best. I think they're just used to have to having matches against each other. So they bring it regardless. And I dig it. So far, so good. Here comes Knox Boogie. Ty Turner by Killa. Setting them up could be an ocean flow DDT. The beginning of the end here for Knox. Got him with it. Impressive. Killing Neptune with the cover. Wow, that now. He executed that barrage of moves pretty well and finished it off with his finisher, but. Maybe it's a little too early in the match because the two-time world champion Knox Boogie super kick takes him down. Happy New Year to all you guys and gals. He's going for a weapon. What's he going for? He has all oh, a kendo stick. Not afraid to use weapons. Oh, Killa took it right off of him. Whacked him right on oh, the dupa as well. Roll through. Oh, look at the kick by Kill on the outside. Cougar Knight is in a building. Thick and juicy. <laughs> How's it going, Cougs? Good to see you. We're live in Columbus, Ohio. Road Warriors in the house, too. Good to see you, my man. A little uh, civil war, I like to call it. We had our little 2K20 test last night. We're back to 2K19 now. And we're pitting very familiar opponents against each other. Granting some wishes, of course. Nightwalker, Mordron wanted to fight me. And we saw how that ended. Uh, Drum Monkey wants a piece of Grasshopper. He's finally going to get that tomorrow night. J-Dog, who turned on J-Vulture, will face each other. They were former tag team partners. So not all these matches are actually friendly teammate fights. You know, former teammate fights or, I don't know, Demented versus Junior McCoy should be good too. Junior's been cleared to fight. So Junior will have to face Demented one-on-one. -on -one. Junior was, uh-oh, Ty Turner again, and now, oh, I thought he had him. Junior's been cleared to fight, and tomorrow night he's gonna fight Demented. Um, Demented was kidnapped by Vindicare, if you guys don't know the story. Vindicare was a masked, hooded wrestler who ended up being Junior McCoy right before the Stable Wars. So that will be a good fight, too. Red Tooth and Nail by Knox Boogie. No tap out. Scoop up now. Reversal by Knox. Now going underneath for some weapons. Oh, he's got a friggin' ladder. Now what in the hell is he gonna do with a damn ladder? Seriously. Oh, he could probably do a lot of damage with it, honestly. I'm not doubting that, you know what I mean? Now props him up in the corner. Has him set. Fans are enjoying it. Superplex to the outside. There's a drum monkey. <laughs> well, you, I'm giving you the match. You want it, right? <clears throat> you can back out now if you want. They're taking it to the streets. Fans here in Columbus are loving it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you were satisfied with just a backstage fight against him, Drum Monkey. I know you want a match with him. Tell me what kind of stipulation you want. You can name it for tomorrow night. Within reason, no Iron Man two-hour match or no craziness. You want a cage? You want a... I don't think ladder match would be good enough. Uh-oh, Knox now looking for the victory here. He got him, and there's the three count. Knox Boogie falling from grace. That's why he's a two-time LTD Tag Team Champion. Those two along with Paragon, your G6 champions, await their next challengers. Check out the highlights.
Hell of a fight between the two, of course. As always, like I said, Knox Boogie busted open, but found a way to get the victory. Good job, Knox Boogie with a big win. And we move her right along. This one should be quite interesting. No real reason behind this two, but teammates, maybe a one tier, I don't even remember. The Bayou versus Hobo should be an interesting matchup. And here we go. There's Mark Caliber and Statman's in the building. Dinner, man, Mrs. You take her now. My mom used to always say, if you're going to bring food, you got to bring enough for everybody. <laughs> What's for dinner? Submat. Submission only match. Okay. Submission match. Grasshopper and Drum Monkey tomorrow night. Also, Mr. Utaker versus Paul Utaker will be an interesting matchup. The Cowboy Chamber tomorrow night. Cowboy John, R.A., Walker, Texas Ranger, Jake Bagwell, and Ronnie Brown. Later tonight, the M.A.D. Crazy 8 and a mystery opponent. Yeah, you're going to find out who the of the Madness Asylum Disciples are tonight. First competitor from the swamps to the south, 6'3", 235. Former Blitzkrieg champion, current 2K19 legacy champion, the Cajun magician, the voodoo witch doctor, Jack Bayou. Now that legacy championship, I mentioned it a couple nights ago. Since we added three months, and now this is our fourth month here in the month of January, because we will be staying on 2K19 for the majority of January, if not more, depending on a lot of things. So the legacy of 2K19 has changed, and Jack Bayou has to defend that title. A 16 man, same 16 men, same matches, that's the legacy rule. The legacy rule is same match in 2K18, 19, and 20. The only people that qualify are characters I've had and are going to have and had in all three. So they'll fight again for the overtime. Ever since October, we've been calling it overtime. Speaking of overtime, I deserve paid overtime for dealing with this. Coming down the ring next. From some random train yard somewhere. Raised in the farms of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 6'3", 317 pounds. He is your, leading towards death wrestling, Blitzkrieg champion. Clickety clack, it's a hobo attack. A caboose on the loose, itching for a fight. It's Hobo Ezekiel. Thank you, Nightbot. Gord Sin appreciates you too, I see. <laughs> Obviously, the title not on the line, the Blitzkrieg Championship now returning to LTD is a Blitzkrieg Rumble Championship. That's right, 10 man, 20 man, 30 man rumbles. So basically, the, any 20-man or 30-man rumbles we have now will be qualifiers for the next Blitzkrieg title match. Once we have 10 of them, or should I say 9, 
then we'll have another Blitzkrieg Championship match. Blitzkrieg title matches are always 10 man and the champion comes in 10th. So you have to earn your way into a Blitzkrieg title fight and you have to fight the other eight to get to the final one, which is going to be Hobo, to try to take that title off of Hobo Ezekiel. And you should probably wear a gas mask. Uppercut. Sends Hobo into the ropes now, ducks under, catches him with a knee. Jack Bayou going to work now, snap suplex. Sends him down and out and continues to go to work. Showers? You think he takes a shower, Wally? He don't know the meaning of water nor soap. Sweep the leg down and now stomping away his bayou. Woody Danger is back and good to see you, my brother. Yep, yep, we'll be setting the the final one will be number 10 whenever we do the championship um, Blitzkrieg title matches. Now, I'm not going to have Blitzkrieg title matches in 30 or 20-man rumbles, but the qualifiers will be. Take down by Hobo in the corner, unleashes big right hands. Hobo, we make fun of him. He stinks, he smells, he's rotten, he talks funny, but Hobo is one of the toughest wrestlers in the business. Just Justin V4 is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned into Blaze Radio. This is all original created characters, most creators and managers live in the chat. Welcome. Glad to be a part of your day. Hold on to your hang dang and grab your biscuits. <laughs> Sit back, relax, let the AI take you for a ride. Strap one on, strap it up, strap it down, whatever, float your boat, whatever. So there'll be several rumble matches, and I tried to get everyone involved to try to get a shot at it. So newcomers, older, you never know. Now up top. But he just gained that championship. So he'll be able to hold on to that until we fill up those nine competitors in the next Blitzkrieg title match. They're going to work on the outside here. Columbus, Ohio, now back in the ring. Hobo and Bayou. Jack Laveau as we saw last night in 2K20. And as a reminder, and y'all know if you're new to the channel especially, hit the thumbs up, the like button if you're digging what's going down. And if you want more, hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications so you know when Blaze Radio goes live. Cover by Jack Bayou after a combination of movement, not even a one. Good stuff, Jess. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Uh-oh, up in the air and a big power bomb by Jack Bayou. A cover to one and a two. Roll through now, Boston Crab. Much appreciated, Just Justin. We'll check you out. We got a great little community here as well, my friend. So enjoy the show. Stick around, hang tight with us, and have some fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah, you know, guys, are... Radio Rex, uh, he was here earlier. Thank God he's not here for a while. It's just me. <laughs> so just Justin, it's just me, your boy Blaze McCoy. Welcome to the family. Got him up. Separate him. Right hand now. Hobo Ezekiel picking up Bayou. Going to toss him like a sack of potatoes. Referee Bowtie watching closely. He's been earning his stripes again, even though he doesn't wear stripes as a referee. Yeah, I guess I deserve the button on that one. But uh, that's our referee bow tie. That's not just what he wears. That's his name. B-O-T-Y-E. He's a wrestler, too. Pretty damn good. Impressive. He's been in the ring for many years, so why not? Big slam by Hobo. Oh, no. Not the sweet release. Yes, indeed. The bow and arrow by Hobo. He calls it sweet release. Can Bayou get out of it? Yes, indeedy. Good for him. Ouch. That's right, Wally. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 now. Oh, and a cover one and a kick out. The Monday show will be sometimey, either 5 o'clock or t uh, 11 o'clock. The Wednesday show at 10 p.m. will be sometimey. You're looking Tuesday, Thursday, 8 o'clock, and Friday at 10, maybe early. I like that, Wally. Oh, no, it could be. 
It might be. Oh, it's gonna be a superplex. All the way to the outside. They're on the outside. Better get your ass in. Yeah, the match can only end inside the ring, folks. Oh, this. Well, I guess either way. I was gonna say which one's the hobo. Normally in a match, you can tell which one's hobo. <laughs> Hobo's the really dirty one. Yeah. Hobo's the Hobo's the one celebrating right now. Hobo's getting back in the ring. Uh, you can follow the smell to find Hobo. Put it that way. He's like uh, I don't know if you, you know who Pig Pen from the Peanuts is, but he has a a cloud of smoke. Not smoke, a cloud of dust. No, not dust. Just stink. It follows him around. Right hand. So I don't know if you call the dirt that's all over Hobo. Uh, it could be considered face paint as well. <laughs> Brian LG, what's up, my brother? Brian's in the house. Another great channel. He does some cool content here on YouTube as well. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Happy New Year, my man. If you guys are digging what's going down, remember to hit the thumbs up. Stick around. We're going to have a great show tonight. It's the Civil War. Look at this maneuver by Jack Bayou. Roll through Cutter. Then the stinky hobo down and out, taking a nap. He normally naps like in a, on a park bench or in an alleyway in a dumpster. Flailing like a fish out of water. Hobo might have to tap. He does. Very rare occurrence. Jack Bayou. He call, I call it the splitter. His arm, bar, leg lock combo. And what do you know? He got a tap out. Jack Bayou, an impressive victory over the Blitz Creek champion. Check out the highlights. Jack got the win, but I still want to hear Hobo's music for some reason. Check it out. <laughs> we do, uh, if you guys are on the roster and don't have custom music and want it, check me out. There it is, Nightbot. Facebook, Twitter, Skype. Check me out. And we'll hook some up. Here's your winner of the match. Jack Bayou. Well, that was a champion versus champion match kind of there. It was uh, our legacy champion, and he'll be defending that soon. And against the Blitzkrieg champ. Now, our next match up here is a one-on-one -on -one fight between two former world champions here in LTD. One of the Madness Asylum Disciples, that is the Bone Dog. And the Razor ran with the Kindred crew back in the day with the After Hours posse lately. But the Razor, he likes to roll on his own. So this one-on-one -on -one fight should be pretty interesting. Here we go. Take your picks, place your bets with Mad Mike, and also grab yourself a drink. Free drink by chatting in the chat. Talk to Mad Mike in the chat at the Lethal Libations Bar. Pick your poison. Have a drink. Relax. It's 2020, people. for the bone dog in the chat. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. We're back live here in Columbus, Ohio. Arsenic? Hey now. Damn, Cougs. You're partying with me after the show, and that's what you're drinking. Two former world champions going to collide in our next matchup. Gord Garland Razor, and here we go. Our first competitor. 
hailing from the city of Louisville, Kentucky. Stands six foot three, 267 pounds. The master of the DDT, the chairman of LTD. The one, the only, the Razor! Oh, Mr. Waddles is here, great. <laughs> Razor's not happy. He's ready for a fight though, as always. And here comes his opponent. From the underworld. In other words, somewhere in Ohio. 6'8", 326 pounds. He's a madness asylum disciple. Former world champion, lethal champion, MAP bragging rights champion, it's the Dow. It's the Bone Dow. Ooh, vodka and raw fish. We should make Rex drink that next time. Here we go. Should be a good one. Brutal. Both brutal brawlers here. Gonna go at it. No disregard, or complete disregard, I should say, for anybody's safety. Crossbody by Razor and unleashes a barrage of rights and lefts on the dreaded one. Bone Dog slow to get back up now. Razor just standing there, daring him to be face to face, fight like a man. I respect both of these competitors and the men behind them. They um very honorable and tough as friggin' nails. Part of me, drum monkey. Depends on what kind of sushi Marley good, Marley good, but it, it could be good. <laughs> I, I I like shellfish. Or any a uh, lot of the cooked, but sushi can be very delicious. Hey now, oh, it can hurt too. Definitely can hurt you. Uh, but I like. Oh, you guys. Oh, now you guys probably want sushi. Jeez, you'll make me hungry for it too. Bone dog, roll over, neck breaker. Down goes Razor. Dragging the Razor to the center of the ring here. Try to put him away. Stands back. Oh, and tries to rip the head off of him. Bone Dog goes for a pin. Hey, he says, why not? Way too early. Ain't no way. Not even a one. Come on, man. Now Bone Dog helps him up to his feet. Float over again. DDT for him. These guys tit for tat here. Or tit tats for tits, right? Is that how it went last night? There it is, the flatliner. He calls it the drive-by. And now the Bone Dog looking to hit him with that banana split. Here it comes. No, reversal by Razor. He's busted open too. Razor line, the Razor line. Cross face applied by the Razor. Bone Dog wiggles his way out. Face to face again now. Again, right back at it. Relentless Razor. Bone Dog squirming, trying to reach the ropes. Can he get the ropes or will he have to tap out here? Found enough leverage to escape the maneuver. Oh, but the Razor right back on top of him. Rattling the cage of the Bone Dog. Who's going to get the win here for Civil War? Razor or Bone Dog? Razor setting him up. Oh, no. Watch out. Big clothesline, almost takes his head off. Cover again by Razor. Is it enough? Nope. Still going at it. You gotta give it to both competitors in this one, folks. I told you. 
Neither one was going to back down. Neither one was going to let up. Both was going to give it their all until the final three count or tap out. Razor, oh, shoved his ass right in the face of the dog. Damn. Now Bone Dog, set up, sent into the other corner, bounces out. Slow neck breaker coming up here. Methodical, the Razor is. He's been uh, holding off the chair, and he's going back to the Razor line again for the third time. Damn, too close to the ropes. Bone Dog's leg underneath the bottom rope. Razor now damn, bouncing his cranium off the bat. Fans on their feet here in Columbus, Ohio. Razor now finally could be going for it. Razor's edge, DDT, no, back to the crossface. He got him finally. Razor would not let up until he got Bone Dog to tap. Holy piss in a bottle. It was like five times he put him in that move. It worked. Hey, he knew, apparently, Razor knew something that the Bone Dog was probably expecting a chair shot or two or 20, a DDT or 10 or 50. But what a game plan by the Razor going to submission. Instead of trying to hit him with all those DDTs like he normally does. That's how you do it, folks. He caught the Bone Dog off guard with one hell of a tactic. The winner of the match, the Razor! Impressive win for the Razor here tonight. Come on, Jimmy in the truck. There we go. <laughs> Covered in blood, picking up the victory. Now we're going to get in some interesting competition here. Brother on brother, twin brothers, one on one. Mark and Alex Caliber, they team together as Excalibur. They're your current fancy action wrestling tag team champions over there in Time Machine Arena. But tonight, they're going to fight each other. It's the Crow versus the Rabid Dog. They were born two minutes apart. Mark Caliber, the senior. Tonight, we're going to see how long they last in the ring, ripping each other to pieces. Essay's in the building. Good to see you. Thank everybody for stopping by. Shout out to Mrs. U Taker, Marley Good, Wildcat Ann, Gord Sin, Mad Mike, Aaron Woody Danger, Wild Matt Alva. All y'all, guys and gals, even you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out tonight. We still got some very interesting matches coming up, folks. Tomorrow night as well. What's next week? Well, we're going to bring you a Crazy 8 competition, a tag team competition, and then that Legacy tournament. That's next week, right here on the Blaze Radio Network. Mr. P's in the building. Welcome to the show. Caliber on Prime, if you will. Let's do this. Coming out first. From Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. 6'6", 287 pounds. One half of the FAW Tag Team Champs, the Rabbit Dog, Alex Caliber. Blade Charge is in the build. What's p, -p, 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 -p passion mean? You sound like Rex earlier tonight. A 10 for a burp? Sure. Uh, Give me 10. 
Well, Blade Charge, the world champion in the building. And he will be in the Mad Laboratory Crazy 8 match main event tonight. It's Blade Charge, Demented, Caleb, Ripper, Mondo, Sir Dragon, Mad Outlaw, MAT members of old and new. And one of the newest, the newest, the 10th, the 8th mystery partner, or opponent, I should say, tonight in the Mad Laboratory. <laughs> Caliber on Caliber Crime coming up next. This is going to be a good one. I've seen these two fight before, man. They don't hold back either. Everyone wants to fight Blade Charge now, Mr. P. <laughs> yeah, the line got really long for people that want, want to go after Blade Charge now. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 6'2", 232 pounds. Half of the FAW Tag Champs and a two-time lethal champion. The scientific and calculating one, the Crow Mark Caliber. Here we go, one on one, Caliber versus Caliber. Sort of brothers fought a lot as kids. They have fought professionally as well, and here we go. Alex Caliber in the gray boots, Mark Caliber in all black. And stomp it away on his little brother, who's actually a bigger brother. Doesn't matter, it's a fight. <laughs> Now working on a hand, sends him down. That's right, the Lost Souls of LTD reunited, continuing to fight here in overtime in 2K19. I think we call it double overtime was December. Overtime was November. Double overtime was December. So we're in triple overtime here in 2K19, in 2020. <laughs> so I'll try to bring in another test. I'm doing the quote fingers. Test stream of 2K20 here in a week or two. Maybe two, three. Oh, Flapjack, Slapjack, right on his face. That's Mad Mike. That's right, Ripper has a lot on his plate already. That's right, Ripper. And that's good. See, I, that's what I like to see. Ripper's bring out a couple months ago was in complete disarray. And this is what the disciples can do. They can they can channel themselves back in, refocus, and get back on point. And Ripper Spring is a perfect example right now. Normally that wild idiot, when he's off the hook, would go after every title and want to kill everybody. But no, he has two targets, not even the world champ late. And he is a champion, so he's got to focus on it. Ripper Spring Hill has really turned a corner recently. Robert King's in a building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Believe the Radio. Oh, back and forth now. Mark Caliber has Alex up against the ropes. He's going to fling his ass back in the ring. Hey, now. Going for a weapon. Normally you get the baseball bat, but it's hammer time to the PP. Ow, it's right in a pecker. No, you know. Oh, the love loss is right out the right out the window. Right out the window.
Well, shit. Bryce Jacobs wants a fight with War, uh, and he's not on the active roster right now. One thing. I wouldn't mind seeing that fight, though. But that's up to the man War. He just he had his final fight last night on leave. I don't know how long he's still here. He's back in active duty. So come on, Bryce Jacobs. You picking fights on people not on the active roster? <laughs> There's the hobo. <laughs> Marginal drop knowledge on you, too. Check yourself, Bryce. Come on, man. Mr. P, get your boy in line. You had him going in the right direction. Now, he's doing the opposite of what I was uh, commending Ripper for. <laughs> now, there's Marley with words of wisdom. Your tag team partner trying to steer you in the right direction to concentrate on tag belts. Not a bad idea. Uh-oh. Alex Caliber. Setting him up. Could be time for a Niagara bomb. The Crow's in trouble. Perched up top night like he wants to be. And crashing down. Does he go for the cover? Yes, indeed. Is that enough? It is. Wild a rabid dog. With the win over the Crow here tonight. Impressive. I told you they'd both bring it. But we're gonna listen to Mark's music anyway. That was that was a great match. Another one, man. We're chalking up some really good head-to-head -head competition here tonight. And as always, you'd think the veteran, the older brother, could uh, pick up the victory, but no. Alex Caliber step it up and taking the cake, like Robert King so eloquently says. Sushi, damn hobo! I need a, need a, huh? What? I need a translator for hobo sometimes. Someone go grab a bum off the street or out of the alley or something. I don't know. Is there, is there, is there a way to translate what hobo says? I don't know. Alex picking up with a win over his twin. Move on to a match of two teammates that will be teaming up in the upcoming Tag Team Madness Tournament. Here's the deal. We got a Tag Team Champion team, the Thunder Bay Jokers, Shamrocks and Shenanigans, whatever you want to call them, Sean and Rob. And we need number one contenders. Now we have a lot of people tied up in this Crazy 8 tournament that's going to start as well. And we have everyone in the Legacy Tournament, which is the 16 competitors. So the Tag Team Madness is going to break down to this. The Opaque Brotherhood, Uncle Frank and Killa versus Sir Dragon and Mondo, the Lordy Arcane. The next gen, James and Victor Harris, will take on Razor and Judgment of the After Hours. Walker and Texas Ranger will take on the Redneck Ranch. They are the Redneck Ranch, I'm sorry. They'll take on J-Dog and Crimson Ninja, the Scavengers. Bryce Jacobs and Marley Good, the New Blood, will be in this Tag Team Madness Tournament. And finally, Kyle Young and TJ Toad, now known as the Double Agents, will be the final team of eight that will contend to see who will face Shamrock and Machete in the very near future for the Tag Team title. Cheeseburgers! Coming down the ring first from Sacramento, California. Six foot five, 275 pounds. Agent Double Toad Seven, the Blue Toad, TJ Toad. So Bryce Jacobs, Marley Good, currently in the chat. They will take on Kyle Young and TJ Toad in that first round, so they should be watching this match very closely. And maybe hope for one to get injured. Oh no, we never hope for anybody to get injured. <laughs> They'll be replaced! Well, that's how Kyle Young made it into the tournament. Uh, the stable war competition, that is, with Rick Race getting injured. That was uh, a big red lady. We're not going to mention her name. And 
his opponent from the city of Chicago, Illinois. Standing at six foot two, 270 pounds, the second city soldier, the Windy City Warrior, Kyle Young. Kyle Young, you'll see him in the chat, the young samurai. Joining LTD recently, a busy man fighting all around the world in multiple companies. We're glad to have him aboard here and recently agreed to team with TJ Toad. They've known each other for a while, but tonight in the Civil War, they got a fight. One on one here, folks. Toad versus Young. Here we go. Right off the bat, German by Kyle Young. Now these two, when I talked to them before the show, both said they want to prove to each other that they can defeat the other tonight and respectfully go and team on and take the tag titles, run through the tournament. They're very confident about it, that nothing in this match could come between them, they tear them apart, could make them not want to tag, but may the best man win, so we'll see. Here we go. Already Kyle Young ragdolling TJ around, trying to make a statement. But we've seen TJ Toad underestimated a million times, and man, does he love to overcome. And I know Bryce, Bryce Jacobs has crossed paths with both of these men, not only here in LTD, but other companies as well. Kyle Young tries to put him away, buckle bomb on TJ crumbling down. Flips him over and goes for a cover now. Kick out by the Toad. Elbow by TJ. Back up again now. Float over DDT. The Toad is on a roll. Kyle fights back. Separates himself. Kicking away, kicking away. And they're taking his fight to the outside. No disqualification, no count on. Right now, Kyle Young. Oh, man. Just dominating. TJ Toe can take quite a beating. We'll see. Now Toad sends him back into the ring. Got him up. Sets him up again. TJ now lock and load. TJ's just on a roll right now. Spore slam. Now dragging his ass to the center of the ring here. Cover by Kyle Young, trying to put him away. Two count only, the kick out. Stomping right on the face. Now Kyle Young showing his strength, lifting up Toad, and down he goes, crash into the mat. Kyle Young on the offensive once again, but oh, nice quick reversal. 2K24 Savage in the building. Good to see you, my man. Holy piss in a bottle. Toad Driver has him down and only a two count. Uh, so glad to see all you guys and gals, dudes and dolls, ladies and gentlemen in the chat. I appreciate you all. If you're digging what's going down and you're already subscribed, remember, tell your mother, tell your father, send a telegram. Spread the word, birds. Let your friends know. Share it out on social media. 
and let people know I am live. Send him back my way to judge for themselves. Kyle Young now setting him up. Oh, there it is. Young kick in the face. The Black Mass painting him with the bottom of his boot right across the grill with a one. And a two. And Kyle Young landing that kick right where it counts and picking up the victory. Onion ring, the size of a duh ring? Oh, the size of the ring, oh boy. That'd be a blooming onion, uh, 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 one hell of a blooming onion, ouch. Ugh. Damn you, hobo. <laughs> Check out the highlights. Well, I ordered Burger King. We are live here, Columbus, Ohio, the Mass Hysteria Arena. And in the very near future, you'll see these two, along with all the other teams I just mentioned a few minutes ago, fighting for the right to face the Tag Team Champions. Right here on Blaze Radio Network. Next week, it is going down. There he is, the winner of the match, Kyle Young. Impressive win, Kyle Young. We got one more match here in universe mode. And then three big time, you can call it a triple main event if you will. play someone's theme music here. Why not? A double bet. Hey, now. Cash that shit in. Here we go. Well, Lord Amadeus recently in a fight against Caleb was shaved bald. Now he's got to fight Judgment. You know Judgment's going to be ragging on him. Judgment. Lord Amadeus. Coming up next. Appreciate you all. Thanks for stopping by. Whether you're chilling in the chat or watching the replay, all my LTD members, fans, PlayStation Network followers, YouTubers, gamers, streamers, podcasters, even you lurkers. I appreciate you all. Hit the thumbs up if you're digging what's going down. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications, so you know when Blaze Radio is live. Glad to be a part of your day. We're going to keep it rocking here in 2020. Let's see what happened with this interesting matchup. Back inside the theater here, Columbus, Ohio, Mass Hysteria Theater, and here he comes from Fubar City, 6'5", 257 pounds, the maestro of madness, Lord Amadeus!
And his opponent from the streets of Chicago, 6'5", 275 pounds, the icon, the puppet master, Judgment! <laughs> that's your boss? Well, that's right, you can catch Lord Amadeus and Judgment and a slew of other characters like Hobo and Caliber and many, many more on the After Hours Talk Show, R.A.W.F. style, that's Saturday nights on blogtalkradio.com. But tonight, they gotta fight each other. Now, if you remember recently, we had the McCoy Cup Invitational Tag Team Tournament where we had valets and managers with the tag teams for the first round. LA and Judgment were teamed up with then Battle Queen Cougar Knight in their corner, which I knew would stir the pot. And indeed it did, but in a different way than I thought. They lost their match. Judgment turns on his tag team partner, Amadeus, and knocks him out with the verdict and then goes after Cougar and attacks her as well. Well, that led to uh, a rematch that Cougar would name a three-on-one beat down of Judgment. But now one-on-one, -on -one, haters do love Judgment. And Amadeus now, looks like he got a little bit of peach fuzz over there on his head. He's not completely bald. P1 Ryan's in the building. Good to see you, my man. This will be a great fight here indeed. Guaranteed. Here we go. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you're digging what's going down here tonight. It is. That is Lord Amadeus. Well, he's bald. That's calling him Lord Ama default. Didn't look as special without that long golden lock. Oh, that golden hair. I miss the golden hair. Thriller's in the building. What's up, bro? Good to see you, Brandon. You are tuned into Blaze Radio. Your boy, Blaze McCoy, kicking it here in mass hysteria. And if you're digging what's going down, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Spread the word. Let other people know. Hit that subscribe button as well. Lord Ama Ding Dong. Lord Amadeus. He's been, he's been heard his name called a million different ways. Good to see each and every one of you guys and gals in the chat here tonight. This is Mass Hysteria, your boy Blaze McCoy bringing all the action. That is Lord Amadeus. Some people said he'd wear a wig, yeah, like Lord Amadeus would wear a wig. What's so funny about that? Well, I watched him shave his head, I mean, I don't know. Monkey Juice, what's happening, man? Happy New Year to all you guys and gals and dudes, everybody in the chat. Good to see y'all. Your boy Blaze McCoy, glad to be a part of your day. Of course, strap yourself in, strap it on, strap it up, strap it down. we got a handful of matches left here tonight, folks. Really good ones, so hold on to your hangdangs and grab your biscuits, people. Well, Bagwell, I got my six pack. That's all that matters, my man. <laughs> good to see you as well, each and every one of you. Guys and gals, dudes and dolls, labias and genitalia. <laughs> Oh, Judgment going after his bald dome. He's, like I said, he's growing that little peach fuzz. He's going to try to grow that shit back. It's not blonde. What well, is his roots, I guess? I don't know. I'm not talking about his hair right now. He didn't even want to fight this match. I said, L.A., you're, you're contracted to at least one or two more matches. I hated to tell him that, but he was happy to hear it wasn't every show. I could easily book him every show with his bald head. Yeah, here he's taking... Oh, there it is. Dropping the gavel on L.A. Relentless as Judge. Now, he might be going for Judgment Time. There it is. Inverted figure four. He's got Judgment Time locked in. L.A. may tap. I, I give it a Lord Amadeus a lot of credit for fighting still and, and sticking to his word. And I can't believe he put his hair on the line. Oh, you're going to give him your hair? What? What? You're going to give him your short and curlies there, Hobo? Uh oh, roll through now. LA's on a mission. Bridge, look at this. Only one count. Well, we've seen Lord Amadeus in different form. 
in the month of October. I uh, don't really want to get into too much detail, but whew, let's hope that doesn't happen again. I think we might send Lord Amadeus on a, uh, a tour somewhere else in October next year, so he's nowhere near us. Oh, now just choking judgment, going to work on him. And down he goes. Lord Amadeus now working on Judgment over the corner. And say hello to the top turn, bucko. But Judgment fires back with chops. Locking his head in. Taking him down, a step through. Trying to break his damn leg. Holy piss in a bottle, folks. Oh, I hate when Judgment does this shit. Oh, come on, man. Missing on stomp now. Make may have opened it up. And a takedown by Judgment. And yeah, we did a test run on 2K20 last night. Haven't really messed with it too much. I'm still waiting for a few more patches. <laughs> there it is once again, dropping the gavel. Slamming his dome piece down. That might be the end for Amadeus here tonight. Rock me, Amadeus, indeed. The fans on their feet here in Columbus, Ohio. Judgment now feeling it, trying to finish off his cohort behind the mic on Saturday nights, old LA. But here, it's Thursday, and it's time to fight. Oh no, the verdict, here it is. The verdict is in and judgment says, uno, dos, oh, not enough. Trying to put away, it's his boss too, I, I guess, hobo. Oh, punch of the gut, almost in a hang dang. Trying to punch his pecker, oops. Oh, got him by the gooch, little gut buster. That was kind of low for a gut buster, like a gooch buster. He busted him open, man. Well, there's one thing that doesn't change, regardless of L.A. has his golden locks of hair or not. He is the most, the most bleeding, I don't know how even to put it, the most susceptible to blood. His ratio of matches where he bleeds and doesn't bleed has to be like 90-10 in favor of the bleeding. Well, at least he doesn't have blonde hair to be turning pink here tonight, the old Ric Flair syndrome. Not saying he dyes his hair, I don't know. Roots. Up again now, Judgment in LA, having it out at ringside. No disqualification, no count out. Now back in the ring, Judgment trying to put final touches on this matchup. Takes him down now, back up again. Oh, Judgment's gonna set him up to drop the gavel. That's the third time, man. When the judge gotta slam the gavel more than three times. He's trying to separate the head from the body, trying to rip his damn head off. Or is he going to try to make his hair... Oh, he's rubbing in some tonic to try to make his hair grow faster. Oh, how nice of Judge. He's still trying to help him out. I, I, I'm sure L.A. appreciates that. John Cena. <laughs> oh, no, again going up. The verdict, Samoan driver. Again, down goes Lord Alma Default. Just in time for Judgment to pick up the victory. How about it? Good timing, Candy Cane Man. What are you clapping for, people? <laughs> Check out the highlights. Another great match tonight, folks. This Civil War is turning out to be pretty friggin' fun. He knows who it is, Mad Mike. Don't cater to his bull pucky. <laughs> He's been hanging out with him all week. I'm sure he's ragging on him for that bald head. And I told you, he's rubbing in special uh, oil, ointment, jizz. I don't know what it is to try to make his hair grow. That was very kind of judgment. It might turn his hair green. Who knows? There's the winner of the match, the icon, the puppet master, the man with the candy cane kick stick. Judgment kickstand. Boy, I fucked that one up. I love it. I'll kick you right in the stick to you, motherfucker. Here we go. Good match. Way to go, Judgment. Enjoy victory while you can. L.A. wanted the hell out of there. I don't know. He may have handed that one to you. There's your winner of the match. As we move on down, move on down the road. And on to our next matchup. This time... It's Tag Team Champion versus Tag Team Champion Machete versus Shamrock. Coming up next.
But we're gonna go to a little more Soma. This is this is called My Date with Poverty. Tonight, Soma, the uh, theme artist with his mass hysteria theme. And tonight, we're gonna break out a little My Date with Poverty as we move on to the next round. How about a warning first? Dirty language. <laughs> the following is rated TV M A L S V. It contains strong language, violence, and nudity. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Down the ring first from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Standing at six foot three, 246 pounds, a three-time world champion, former Combat Kingdom champion, one half of the current LTD World Tag Team Champions. He is the Psycho Sicko, Sean Shamrock. Recently losing the world champion, the Blade Charge. Now he's fighting his tag team partner. And they'll be defending the titles against the winner of that Tag Team Madness tournament next week. And here's his opponent, his tag team partner, also from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. 6'1", 273 pounds. 
former Crazy 8 champion, Rob A. Machete! Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger! What's so funny about that? I'd gladly pay you Tuesday for a cheeseburger today. How about it? Machete, Shamrock, the Thunder Bay Jokers, Shamrocks and Shenanigans, one-on-one -on -one against each other right now. Shamrock, recently um, dressed up like the Fiend, still has the damn pants on, I see. Right hand. As we've seen the many faces of Shamrock in 2019. These two will have to defend those tag titles. But tonight, they're whooping each other's asses like Shamrock spilled Machete's sunflower seeds. Kick needs straight to the back now. And Shamrock on the offensive continues to hammer away with those knee strikes. Now, elbows to the top of the dome piece. Referee Bowtie watches closely. Still to come, folks. Elimination match. I call them the antagonists. They'll be fighting the Forge next week for the right to fight the G6 champs. That's Bastage versus Gord Sin versus Shadow Press. Coming up next in our big main event back at the MAD Laboratory. Eight disciples will battle each other disciples from the beginning and now the newest disciple will be named tonight who can it be now no it's not rex cover by machete and only a one count that's a good point bryce jacobs see bryce can be a respectful person anyway see i know mr p instilled good values and you just get lost every once in a while you might have to take a take a trip to the madness asylum bryce Get your ass straight now. <laughs> you got a lot of potential. Put your foot in your mouth too much sometimes, though. And that sometimes young competitors do that. Ask Rex. Ask Junior McCoy. Face first. Down goes Machete. Eat some canvas. There's no fiends. There's none. Zero fiends, Woody. We had... This guy was marauding as the fiend. Shamrock, son of a bitch. <laughs> Kick to the peep. Oh no, here it is. Ba -ba 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 Boom, shaka laka. The devastating move with a one two, not enough. Not enough. I put that move up there with the Chaos Eater. That was the move of 2018. Now, you guys voted the Chaos Eater most dominating move. And now, Brain Buster, my Shamrock. <clears throat> I put the Boom Shaka Lock up there for this year's top now, we're not doing awards this year but i will be doing a year in review i don't know if, how i'll be live streaming it or if i'll be live streaming it but there will be a year in review at the top i think 25 or 30 things that went down this year it's crazy a lot all the stuff that went down start with the golden pyramid at the beginning of the year all the way to the stable war to close out the end of last year ah it's weird saying last year we're only two days into 2020 uh oh, Sham Rocker. One, two. Not enough. That's right, Jake. That's what I like to hear. Someone buy Jake a drink. I know he, he, he has enough. He doesn't need another drink. But I'm sure he'll take another one. And speaking of taking another one, Machete takes another boom shakalaka. And that normally means the end of the match, and it does. Making a statement, former world champion Shamrock says. He can feel it. Ouch. Good match, check out the highlights. As I puke in my mouth a little bit. At least he's not here to rub it in and say nasty shit. I dig that. <laughs> Preoccupied, I like it. It's like pouring salt into the wound, you know, and you got to hear about it, too. <laughs> you 
Here's your winner of the match, the Psycho Sicko. Sean Orma Bates, Sean Ketonk Man, Sean Irva, Sherman Monstar, the faces of Shamrock, Fiend Shamrock, <coughs> Psycho Sicko, which one are you today, tomorrow? Well, he's a wiener tonight in this Civil War one-on-one. -on -one. Now we got our first Civil War triple threat match coming up next. Sin and Machete, the world-class losers. I like that tag team. Man. These three will go against the Forge. Andre Steele, Derek Steele, and Marcus Sharp. The winner of that match will face Paragon, Knox, and Killer for the G6 title soon. Here are the antagonists. Bastage, Shadow Press, and Gord Sin. Now they fight each other first here at Civil War. Of course I'm crazy. Oh, hobo. Are you gonna eat that later? Oh, I'm delayed there. I thank y'all for joining the show tonight. We're having a blast. We got two huge main events coming up right here. This triple threat, and then your main event. We're gonna head over to the Mad Laboratory it's Blade Charge, the world champion, versus Mr. Demented, versus Caleb James, versus Ripper Springheel, versus Mondo, versus Sir Dragon, versus the newest member of the Disciples. Stay tuned. And I'll break down next week's Crazy 8 show during the main event as well. You do not want to miss that. Here we go. I got a match in that Crazy 8 show next week I've never done before. And I'll break that down later on tonight. But coming down the ring first in this triple threat elimination matchup. The King of Detroit here in LTD. 5'11", 240 pounds, a U.S. Army veteran. This is Shadow Brass. Well, the antagonist always giving me a hard time. And each other for the most part. But a well-oiled machine when the bell rings and a fight inside of the ring. Coming down the ring first from Charlotte, North Carolina, seven foot three fifteen. It's the Bastage. The big bad bastards, the gambling gangsta, Dominic Maroney, the Fargan ice hole, that's summon them batch. This big tough guy is going to try to rip apart his two friends here. And one of them's got to win the match. So all three can't be losers. Well, I thank y'all for joining the show. Don't forget, check out the website. Make sure you're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Stay locked in, keep showing up, and hanging out with the family. Much appreciated. We got a show tomorrow night for the second half of Civil War. 
and then we'll update the main page there for what's going down next week, right here on the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. And now we go from that kick-ass theme song the Bastage has, his new theme song, which I dig, to Gord Sin's lovely little number. From Aberdeen, Scotland, 6 foot 5, 245 pounds, he is the Numpty, Gord Sin! Clap along if you want to. You know, he doesn't do the shifty dance. But you can do the Gord Sin clap. The Gord Sin clap. At least that's what she said it was called. You got that clap? Hey, that's just what I heard. Rex told me so. Here we go. Elimination matchup between the three antagonists. SP, the summon of bitchin' bastards, and Gordo. Don't forget there's Nightbot Johnny5 showing you how to follow your boy Blaze McCoy, Facebook, Twitter, and Skype. No, Rex isn't my brother. Why would you say that? And you're mentioning his name. That's going to make him come back around. We don't want that. He was here earlier. We had enough. I, I, I'm afraid to listen to the tape of my match and how he called that first fight. I normally would go in there with a headset, but I wanted to win. I wanted to beat Mordred. I, I, I respect the dude. I wanted to send him off with whatever left I have in the tank. It was a good fight. I'm sore. My ankle's killing me. And I'm pretty sure a couple of my, uh, some of my vertebrae are still out of place. Thanks, Mordred. I'll send you my chiropractic bill on the way out. Oh, that's an insult. Why would you say that, Woody? Him and his stupid little wah, wah, wah voice? I can't do that crazy shit. That's ridiculous. Bastards working on Shadow Press. Ward Sin rolls to the outside. And SP unloading on the big bad bastards. This is you cheering for Gordo to pull off the win. Look, he's playing possum. This is a good match for Gord. He can sit on the outside, watch these two whoop the shit out of each other, walk in and clean up the mess. TS is in the building. What up, Tom? Good to see you, my man. Happy New Year to you as well. Double underhook by Gordo. Got him up, Gord Sin. And big time dropping him down. Peace off cutter. Just when I said Gord was going to uh, sit back and do just about nothing, he comes out and does that. No, it's cool. It's cool, Dick. It's cool, Woody. I like when people chat with me and ask questions. You're all good. I appreciate you hanging around for a while. You disappeared on us last time. Hang tight with us. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I joke, I joke. For me to poop on. Uh-oh, so like Al Bacon or Cookie Monster or both. Shadow Press salute. Hey, I want that salute. What are you doing a Steel City salute? I need that taunt for Blaze. Forearm smash on Gord Sand, Sling Blade. Shadow Press stepping up his game right now. Good to see all you guys here. Happy New Year uh, if you missed me last night on my 2K20 stream. Yes. Not 2020, 2K20. Super Dave 44 is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Good to see you, Super Dave. I am your boy, Blaze McCoy, bringing a simulation federation here tonight. I appreciate you, my man. Good to see you. Oh, take down the leg by Shadow Press. We welcome any and everyone to the, fan, to the fun. Wrestling fans of all ages from all around the world. I dig it. And if you're digging what's going down, hit the thumbs up, the blue button, and turn it blue. One. What button? Who's got the button? I don't know. Well, I appreciate y'all. Sit back, relax. 
Let the AI take you for a ride. Strap one on, strap it in, strap it up, strap it down. Whatever floats your boat, people. Whatever makes you happy. Uh-oh. The bastards ain't making Gord happy. Oh, no. Right at the skirt. Why we got to see that? Can't you wear, can't you wear like leggings or something, Gord? Look at that. Can't you be more like a lady? Cross your legs when you're... Oh, well, I smell something. Is that still Hobo? Or did Gordo just queef? Oh, uh-oh. Bastard setting him up. Back body drop by Gord Sin. Shadow press back in, trying to catch him off guard, man. Gordo showing and proving now, trying to get elimination on SP1. And a two and a kick out. I appreciate y'all. So many great people, so many great channels. And we're hanging tight here on a Thursday night. Your boy Blaze McCoy bringing you all the action here in Columbus, Ohio. Very rarely do we dip into Ohio, but why as well? We're in double overtime here in 2K19. We're going to keep it rocking. Like I said, the Civil War goes down tonight and tomorrow night. I'll break down the card for tomorrow night before our main event coming up next here in the MAD Laboratory. Uh-oh, Gordon going for a piece off cutter. And he nails it. Nachos? Where's Super Nacho? Cover! Bastage could be the first one out. No kick out. Just in time by the big bad Bastage. And here comes Shadow Press. Fans on their feet here in the stands. Oh, SP going for the legs again. Sloppy. Look, everyone's missing. Are these guys drunk? Oh, they must have been drinking before the match. That doesn't surprise me. And a big takedown. Thank you, Super Dave. Majority of the people in the chat are created characters live in the chat. This is Simulation Federation. Interactive internet wrestling for your entertainment. We got chat games. We got original created characters. Custom music. Custom arenas. We just having fun. Oh, the bastard Jane having fun. Elimination. <laughs> Double underhook now. Gordo is going to try to take the win. Setting up. Oh, down he goes. Cover. Peace off, but not enough to pick up the victory. Judgment still hanging out. Where's John Cena? Oh, no. You're going after L.A. in the back now. You're going to attack him more, Judgment. Well, why don't you find a good wig for him? Big right hand by Gordo. Gordon Singh wants it. That's the thing about the numpty. He jokes around in his stupid jokes and says he quote unquote likes Rex and all that stuff, but uh oh, trying to rip off his leg. Submission maneuver locked in. The numpty lock. Not enough, SP. Finds a way out. Big right hand. There he is. You're going to come back to gloat about your win, Shamrock. Oh boy. In the corner now, beating up your tag team partner. Shame on you. Hitting him in the dupa. Ouch, now going for it. Shadow press, setting him up on the top rope. What's he have in mind? Oh, he's like, whoa. Gord Sims like, whoa. Dropping down. He was in a tree of whoa. No more upskirts, Gordo. Come on, man. Forearm smash. Big super kick. Uh oh, sets him up. Shadow press. Bridge for a one. Hato. Not enough, not enough, not enough. A purple long wig. Oh, boy. Well, maybe if Lord Amadeus would uh, fight another fight for a shot at uh, another, not the world title, already had that, something else, the winner could pick whatever type of wig Lord Amadeus would have to wear till his hair grew back. Oh, oh man, holy flip city. Holy piss in a bottle, folks. That's got to be it. Oh, SP kicks out. You come here to cheer on the Humpty Numpty. Oh. Cause the Humpty Dance is your chance to do the hump. Oh, Humpty Baby! Oh! Oh, once got busy in a Burger King bathroom with onion rings and Hobo Ezekiel. Gordson trying to put him away. Shadow Press locked in trouble. War, I think War's back on active duty, man. I, I love saying duty. War was only home for the holidays. Oh, big spear by Shadow Press. Is that enough? <laughs> and now dragging his ass to the center of the ring, setting him up, lock and load. Uh oh, that's trouble. And that's what a capital. Oh my goodness, watch out for your bunghole. Oh boy, Shadow Press connects where the sun don't shine. And a super kick to a Superman punch. 
the wake-up call, but it may have... Oh, he calls his Superman punch the wake-up call, and it may have worked because now Gord's on fire, but now Shadow Press fights back. We got a tennis match back and forth between these two competitors. One, two. Close call once again and almost... Now knee strikes right to the Tidals by Shadow Press. SP with his jorts. Setting him up. This could be future shock. Dream Chaser DDT. There it is. Sayonara Gordo. You want to lose? Shadow Press has obliged. Uh, I'm going to play the Bastages song anyway. Even though the Bastages didn't win, I'm going to play your theme song. Because I want to play it. Spartacus. It's Fargan War, people. Good match. These three are tag team partners. They will be fighting together next week against the Forge for a number one contendership for our G6 Gladiator six-man tag team championships. Currently held by the Opaque Brotherhood Paragon, Killer Neptune and Knott's Boogie. And keep in mind, folks, you can always keep up with everything LTD on the website. Nightbot will drop it, but why the hell not? Bookmark that biatch. There's the winner of the match, Shadow Brass. Well, they'll be facing the Forge next week. Well, let's debut the Forge's new theme music as I set up our main event, and then I'll break down the card for tomorrow night's show. Congratulations, SP. Here's the theme song, the custom entrance for the Forge. You'll be hearing this song soon as we move on to the main event. Stay tuned. Now the newest member of the Madness Asylum Disciples. We had him locked up. I brought him into this company. Finally, we've committed him to the Madness Asylum. He's just started his treatment. It's Xander Webb. Good night, folks. Civil War II. We will be in offering. It'll be Mr. Demented versus Junior McCoy. Ruthless members, D-Train versus Bill Hayes Jr. Shifty and his best friend, the Great Red Dragon. You remember all the way back at the beginning of the year, trying to find Shifty's star. Former tag team partners, Jay Dog and Jay Vulture will go one-on-one. -on -one. Paragon and Uncle Frank, both members of the Opaque Brotherhood, will battle. Drum Monkey will get a submission match against the Grasshopper for redemption. 
the U-Takers will battle in darkness, Mr. U-Taker versus Paul U-Taker. The Cowboy Chamber is Cowboy John, Redneck Avenger, Walker, Texas Ranger, Jake Bagwell, and Ronnie Brown. New Blood members, Marley, Bryce, Crimson, Wolf, Tier Gaviste, Jackknife, and MSW. And the Overtime, Wally, Beast, Kel, Victor, Hollenhoon, Derek, and DH Bruiser. And a new comer? Who can it be now? Well, tune in tomorrow night to find out the new signee. And that's your Civil War card for tomorrow night. We'll be live in Player Hate in Dayton, Ohio. But now we got a crazy eight match about to go down. On the fans getting on their feet for the world champion. Here he comes. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 6'3", 264 pounds. He is a Madness Asylum Disciple, the rocket scientist who saved the world, the beast of the blade, the rocket man, the LTD, world champion, Blade Charge! Celebrating with that title belt for the first time here. We saw him last night in 2K20 with the belt as he won a first blood match against Psycho Sicko Sean Shamrock. Now Blade Charge holding that world champ. What a long, crazy ride it's been for Blade Charge to reach the top of the mountain here in LTD. Now can he hold on to that title? We're about to see Madness Asylum Disciples try to go for it tonight. Going out next from the Madness Asylum, standing at six foot one, 220 pounds. A former tag team champion, a two-time G6 champion, the current Madness Asylum Disciple Bragging Rights champion, and now the resurrected title. He is your crazy eight champion as well. He's delirious, deplorable, deranged, and disturbed. It's Mr. Demented. There you go, Woody Danger and Blade Charge were a former tag team as well. Rex for the, what the, what about Rex? He was here earlier tonight. Now he's gone, thank goodness. Quit saying his name. Indiana, six foot four, 249 pounds. He is a Madness Asylum disciple, the Blackheart, Caleb James.
coming out from the Madness Asylum. Six foot six, 300 pounds. He is your lethal LTD hardcore champion. He's unhinged, unglued, and unpredictable. He's batshit crazy. It's Ripper Spring Hill. Now, next week, we're going to have a crazy eight show, seven matches. The winners will fight for the crazy eight title against Demented. It's Wally versus Holland Hoon. Bill Hay Jr. vs. Ronnie Brown. Miles Stanley Ward vs. Alex Caliber. AD Beast vs. Jay Vulture. Great Red Dragon vs. Knox Boogie. Paul Utaker vs. Wolf Tear Gaviste. The Drum Monkey vs. Phelan Kell. And then a crazy eight match with champions and challengers. One like never before. That's the match on that crazy eight show. You are not going to want to miss. And that match is a crazy eight match with Blade Charge, Ripper, Spring Hill, Demented, and Caleb that are in this match. But also Judgment, the number one contender for Ripper's title. Caleb does have a shot at Blade Charge's title. Sean Shamrock thrown in there as well. As Shalky, your Battle Queen champion, Hobo Ezekiel, the Crazy Eight champion. Now that is a crazy match. Stay tuned. We'll be updating the website over the weekend with all next week's cards. Just a little taste of when the Crazy Eight show will be. Next week, the Crazy Eight show, the Tag Team Madness show, and 2K19 Legacy Tournament returns. So those 16 competitors will fight for Legacy Overtime. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. You see it. It's probably what I'm trying to stick to on the blue bar at the bottom there. Tuesday at 8, Thursday at 8, Friday at 10, or sooner, as Wally liked to say. I like that. But from Miami, Florida, the mighty Mastodon Mondo and his tag team partner coming out next from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. He is Sir Dragon. They are the Lord of the Arcane. They will be fighting in that tag team tournament next week to try to get the tag titles. But tonight, it's a civil war, and all the disciples are fighting each other. Now, Mondo and Sir Dragon... They are not full-fledged members. They've been to the Disciples. They've been to the Madness Asylum, but temporarily, not as long as some of the other people, but Disciples nonetheless. Ripper, Spring Hill, and myself were the first members of the Madness Asylum Disciples, a tag team back in Big Dog Wrestling on Pillow to Post Network here on YouTube. Well, the Disciples have grown this facility here in upstate Pennsylvania where wrestlers go that have lost their friggin' marbles, their mind, and can't compete anymore. Well, they found the formula. They found the doctors, the people to help everybody. Well, these wrestlers, certain ones, not all of them, that's for sure, fight again. And now here we are. Another disciple that runs with another faction, but has made his trip and fought with the Disciples back in the day. Even holds a G6 title run with the Mended and Ripper from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Six foot six, 260 pounds. One of the last train robbers, a member of Ruthless Incorporated, is Wild Man Outlaw! Harley-Davidson's in the building. Welcome to the show. We are tuning in to Blaze Radio. Good to see you, Harley. Happy New Year. You're in time for one badass main event. And if you're tuning in late, you guys missed the rest of the show, check it out on replay. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this show. We got one more competitor to come out. And this guy I brought into the company. He ended up winning the world championship. Way back in 2017 here on YouTube. Well, he's been in the prison. He's been with the SEC. He fought with the MAD. No, I mean, he fought with the SEC. He fought with just about everybody. 
Well, when I heard he was had plans on leaving with the Fiend and following the Fiend, it was time for this man to finally go to the Madness Asylum and get what he deserves, and that's treatment. So there's hope for this man. Maybe he'll be able to turn himself around. But tonight's the first test. He's in the very, he's in the waning days of his treatment here in the laboratory. And our final competitor. From parts unknown. Six foot nine, 353 pounds. Former world champion and current Combat Kingdom Stable War champion with the Steel City Committee, he is the creature, Xander Webb. Jay Vulture is in the building. Good to see you, Jay. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Tomorrow night, Jay Vulture in Civil War II will take on the j Dog. And then, Jay, you got a match next Tuesday as well against AD Beast in the Crazy 8 tournament. Well, those are seven qualifiers. And, yes, Drum Monkey versus Phelan Kell. That's going to be one hell of a match. Are you saying you're underestimating yourself there, Drum Monkey? I forgot your drum roll. Stable War Championship means not a damn thing tonight. None of their belts do. This is a battle of M.A.D. Madness Asylum Disciples. Good to see you all here tonight. This is your main event. We'll be back tomorrow night, 10 p.m. or probably sooner. You got Ripper and Blade, Ripper and Demented, former tag team partners up top. Sir Dragon and Caleb the Blackheart going at it. You can see right in front of us the scars on the back of Xander. They've already done the the work on the back of whatever they do, that huge scar on the back of the Disciples. You can see it on majority of them here. Now Mondo and Sir Dragon do not have those scars. But it looks like Xander Webb already put through the protocol here in the laboratory. <laughs> Caleb and Sir Dragon still going at it. Ripper and Demented. Oh, Demented went after Caleb there. We got a lot of title belts in there. We got Combat Kingdom, we got their lethal champion Ripper, the world champion, Blade Charge. Demented holds the MAD bragging rights title. I should have put that on the line in this matchup. Well, if anyone wins this, should get a bragging rights shot against Demented for that championship. He owns the right to rebrand that title. Still have yet to see what he wants to rebrand it as. He might lose the belt before he gets to rebrand it. Oh, back scrap. Oh. <laughs> Matt Outlaw draped across the top rope by the creature. Xander Webb, Caleb James continues to work on Sir Dragon. This is crazy eight rules, folks. So it is pinfalls and submissions only. No over the top rope horse pucky. Creature cutter on Matt Outlaw. Waiting for our first elimination. Who's good? Can someone pin the world champ? Someone can pin the lethal champ here. Someone can pin our crazy eight champion. Wait, that's Hobo. No one can pin him. No, Hobo's the Blitzkrieg champion. See, I'm getting confused now. I, I, I. Mr. Demented, your crazy eight champion. Ripper, your lethal champion. Blade Charger, world champion. All disciples, all in the ring right now. Well, I said it at the end of the Stable Wars. The Steel City Committee may be the Stable War champions, but it seems like the Madness Asylum disciples came out of all that. With the be as the beneficiaries holding a lot of gold right now. Well, very ironic as the goal of the stable winning team is to get all that gold. Well, Blade Charge was a part of that. So was Xander Webb. And now, oh, rip your face off. Claw slam by Ripper Springheel. There's a cover. And a kick out by Demented. Well, thank you guys for stopping in and hanging out. Well, this is your main event of the evening. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up if you're digging what's going down. We'll be back tomorrow night for part two of the Civil War here in LTD. Where the hell is the referee? Oh, there he is.
Still no eliminations. Brutality personified here, people. Unbelievable action from the get-go. And I kind of figured that would be the way it was going to go down, folks. Fans on their feet here in the Madness of Silent Disciple Laboratory. Still no eliminations. All eight disciples. There we go. Cover in the back. Mondo in trouble. And a kick out by Mondo. Now Blaine Charge, the world champion, trying to put out the lethal champion with a submission. No, Ripper fights his way out. There's so many cross stories in the ring right now. This match is off the friggin' hook indeed. I agree, Marley Good. Nobody wants to give up. No one can put anybody out. The Disciples, definitely on top of the game. Big Sprox Blast, Caleb's in trouble. One, two, and a kick out by Caleb. Caleb James, all oh, highway to hell on Xander Webb. Initiation, if you will, by one of the senior members of the Disciples, Matt Outlaw. And there it is. Ripper Springheel taps out to the world champion Blade Charge. Still making a statement, Blade Charge. And Demented sending Mondo round and round. Sir Dragon's been eliminated too. And so has his partner Mondo. The herd is thinning here. The Disciples Crazy A matchup. Crazy A champion Demented still in there. And world champion Blade Charge working on the number one contender, Caleb, now having that title shot in that hair versus hair match versus Lord Amadeus. And they're going at it in the center of the ring here, folks. Now Caleb fights back as uh oh. Vulgar display of power finisher coming up by Xander Webb, the creature, trying to destroy Matt Outlaw. Now well, he must be passing test story because Xander Webb got the elimination and we're down to four. And now Caleb with a three count on the champion. Caleb James has his match against Blade Charge. Now he has a pinfall on him. Blade Charge hopes to do that in his title shot tonight, eliminating the world champion. Now Creature Cutter on Caleb. Fans are on their feet. We're down to the final three. Who's going to win this match? Cover by Xander Webb. One, two. Kick out by Caleb. What a main event this has been. It was mass hysteria all night long. And it's coming down to this. Take down by Xander. Demented. Blade charge. I mean, Demented slams Caleb down. Take down by Xander Webb. The newest member of the Disciples. Xander Webb finally in treatment here. And he got his legs taken out from underneath of him. He got put on skates like hoverboard Caleb when Caleb was a, oh no, Maxine K days. And he taps out, still in training, in disciplehood. Xander Webb takes an exit. And we're down to the Crazy 8 champion, Demented, who also holds the MAD title. Caleb James might want a shot at that bragging rights MAD championship as well. Demented Mr. Two Belts here. Has Caleb in trouble. Strikes back. Close line up against the rope. Sends Demented down. Caleb lining him up. Symphony of Destruction time. Oh, he got him. Down goes Caleb to work on Mr. Demented. Wow, what a final here. Caleb and Demented going at it here in the final two. Well, they want to stake the claim as the new disciples here in 19 and 20. Demented's been around. 
Caleb, a newer disciple, now representing the new blood, if you will, of LTD in 2019. Demented, Ripper, Blade Charge, Outlaw, Disciples from the past, and a big forearm to the back of the head takes him down. Uh-oh, now Caleb James setting up, big power bomb on Demented. Caleb James already has that ticket for a world title shot. Now he wants to win over to Crazy A champ and he wants a dirty pin to do it. Oh, Demented says no way, no siree, Bob. Caleb, oh, button. Oh, and a busted his chin. Now here comes the Crazy A champ. He's trying to show you why he is a Crazy A champion. We just resurrected that title and I like to call the dark title the lethal title, the dark title. Oh no, here we go. Chain reaction. He could be setting him up for a Kapow kick. Kapow kick could end it right here, but he might have it in the bag. What's this? Looking to have Caleb pass out, tap out. Good, what a counter by Caleb. Back up again, kick to the gut. Big cutter by Demented. Cover! Is that enough? One, two, kick out by Caleb James. What a main event, folks. Juan Miki's in the building. I know a little bit of Spanish. Un poquito, un poquito. Hola, senor. El Fina, the final match. Good to see you, my man. Welcome to the show, Juan. Down and cover, Caleb hits him with the knee, and that is good. No, only a two count. Well, thank each every one of you guys here in the chat. Hanging out, this is our main event. No hablo espanol, un, un poquito, un poquito, lo siento. Oh, shoulder tackle by Demented. Stomping away on Caleb. Final two in the main event, Dementia. He's going for Dementia. He's going for Dementia. There it is. Locked it in. Middle of the ring. Nowhere to go. The Crazy Eight slash MAD champion trying to show exactly why. Caleb won't go out. Oh, he made it out of it. Holy piss in a bottle. Holy sheep shit, people. What a finale here for tonight's Civil War Part 1. Now Caleb trying to put him away. Bloodshot Sunrise! His version of the GTS and he might be out cold! No kick out! You gotta be shitting me, people! What a match! What a combination these finally do! Hello from Pittsburgh! Mr. Mexico, good to have you on. Glad to be a part of your day. Bloodied up, demented. And Caleb, the man with the golden hair now, I guess. Mr. Demented. Digging down deep into his madness, if you will. Now, is that enough? Torture against James. Cover, one, two. No kick out. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. What a match. The Disciples showing and proving here tonight. Maybe they should fight together. Oh no, here it is. Kabow! 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 A Kabow kick from Demented. Sayonara, see you later. No way! I was about to say adios for one, two, but no, a kick out. He's got blood all over his chest. He's leaking, he's leaking. Oh, down goes the ref. Oh no. This match is breaking down only the way it could here in the Mad Laboratory. Uppercut! Body blow! Body blow! Stomping away now, Demented has Caleb in a bad way. Right hand. Chain reaction coming up again. Connects with the knees. Wow. The Madness Asylum Disciples, I gotta say, I'm super proud of them. And a sweep the leg, Johnny. Demented back up. Caleb blocked by Demented. Had a desperation springboard. Oh, he missed. He missed. He gets the button. What a match. Both men totally exhausted. Who's going to come out on top? Kick to the back. 
flips it around. Several shots to the spine by Demented. He gonna need a back academy. Caleb and Demented have been tortured. Oh no. Speaking of torture. Lock it in Dementia once again. That's gotta be it. Caleb has no way out. He had to tap. Wow. Check out the highlights. Demented needs a custom song. So instead, we'll kick it off or end the show here tonight with the highlights and our theme song, Causing Mass Hysteria by Soma Panatella. Check out the highlights. Wow, what a show. What a main event. There's your winner. He's the MAD champion for a reason. He's the Crazy A champion for a reason. Give him some chicken nuggets. It's Mr. Demented! I be the catalyst, the master, it's the microphone master, cause I be blasted, kids will talk for these asses, kids don't roll up the grass, it's lit, it's because my gas is lit, my pockets be on even cause I pay too much cash for kicks. Some ask me why I walk the streets like I'm on one for these, the kid comes off for these, but he's too good, he never talks to the streets, stand with the concrete, conjure up a beat, concentrate on the people, smoke it up, my guns will leave, I'm on my mind with real material, you may be making a miracle, you don't like my people, make a massacre, cause we'll make sure those. Now who's the next boss with stepping, I be kicking you with like no gifts and I don't need the back of the weapon. See, I be going out like Jason when he hit the city, slashing all these bitch ass rappers, my kick the gap is gritty. I show no pity for these shitty committees, I pop the punk to make the eyes roll like a pregnant bitch's titties. Something slowly step, I see the simple thing is water, I'm locking up motherfuckers in the safety with their daughters. <laughs> Cause there's a way to be a sucker and a way to be a snitch, but you, you go both ways like a porno bitch. I'm pulling cards so I pass, no more way to pull the staff, pussy pull down here, I'm probably pulling pounds and pounds. Little river will go into competition. But soon the children will choose it. You're wounded or brutal like the sticky cool did. There's no limit to my lyrical capacity. I paid a bloody tapestry. Take pictures out of trash. And she raps to me. Your girl gave me the ass. True, she's no Robin Givens, but she gives the best man of the class. My speaker's big and stand up. Put these fuckers, which is fine. And then I stood on spectator like Charles Barkley. Your bitch raps a laser. I'm a waste like a hula hoop. Before you pull a pool of truth, you know my style is full of truth. That's right, this was Mass Hysteria here tonight. We'll be back for Offering tomorrow night. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Leaning Towards Death Wrestling, brought to you by the Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being a part of the show and hope to see you guys next time. But until then, keep in mind, people, the world may be crumbling around us, but life's what you do with the moments you have left. But remember this, we're all leaning towards death. Some are just a little bit closer. Peace and positive vibes, y'all. I'll let Soma take us out tonight. And see you tomorrow night. I'm out of here. Everybody, I'm back. Is it main event time yet? Oh, shut up, Rex. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I always come back for the main event, you know. So I figured I'd come back and hang out and see who won the main event. Oh, is that Demented? <laughs> He's all bloody. Oh, shut up, Rex. My goodness, are you kidding me? What are you doing here? Thought you left. Oh, we don't have a show tomorrow night, Rex. Never mind. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, Blaze. We have a show tomorrow night, guys. See you tomorrow night, 10 p.m., maybe sooner. I miss you. It's me, Radio Rex Rapolsky, the real star of the show. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good to see you all. Stay tuned to Blaze Radio. I'm out of here.